Hey there, this is Erica from Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for new college instructors. If that's you, go ahead and click like and subscribe below. Today's video isn't sponsored, but I did have Junior Lee reach out and see like, hey, do you think this would be of interest to share with your audience? And they offered me the pro version to check it out. The free version is amazing. You don't need the pro if you want to keep it to the free. And so I wanted to kind of show you how you can use this tool to create really interactive activities and materials for your students free of charge. And so if you're someone who wants to gamify your classroom a bit more, but you're kind of tired of Kahoot over and over again, or for someone who really thinks that interactive materials will help your students be more engaged or retain information better, this has a lot of elements that you can use in one tool that makes it much easier than having to use different, different tools to create the same or close to the same effect. And so I'm not going to give a tutorial necessarily of this tool, but more kind of show you different ways that you could potentially use Genially for your classroom purposes. So let's go ahead and dive in by sharing my screen. Here's my Genially dashboard. One thing to notice is that if there's a star next to something, that means you have to have the pro version in order to use it. So in this case, creating folders, here's my educator folder. And if you go in here, I have two different projects. The first is my CV that I have on my website. And the second is this tool I created, which is an activity where you pick the ed tech tool that you want based off of what reason you need an ed tech tool. So for example, for this one, if I go ahead here and view it, here it is. So you have picture, right, information. I have links to all the social media. As you notice, they kind of move, move a bit when you scroll over them. These are all things that you include in creating it. If you click on here, you'll see hover over what courses I taught during that time. If you click on here, it will take you to a certificate for those courses. I have this, which is also active. It's not just pretty. So it shows what publications I have here. You can click on here and it takes you to a publication page. So as you can see, basically an interactive slide, but it's interactive in different ways. So it's interactive in the sense of having animations, being clickable, but also having pop-ups as well as data included. So that's one example. And then this one, again, is an activity that I created for educators in my community. So here we go. They click start. They go to the next slide. What we'll cover, they click continue. And then again, mean objectives, keep on going. And then eventually get to this point. What goal are you trying to accomplish? And so again, as you can see, I have this interactive feature here and they can say, okay, I want to make my class more engaging. So they click engagement and they end up in the engagement slide. And again, there's links, there's images, there's text, and they can go back to the goal menu here. They can go and say, okay, I wanna go home. And so it makes it very easy to create these interactive experiences for your students. Those are just two examples. So now let's actually show you what's great here is that there's tons of templates. So if you click create genially, what are you trying to create? A presentation, infographic, some kind of game, a guide, video presentation, and so on and so forth. So you might say, you know what, I wanna gamify my classroom. Let's see what the options are here for gamification. And so you can go through and see, all right, basic quiz. Oh no, a little boring for me. Keep going down. Uh, maybe you like this kind of background. So that might be a quiz style that appeals to you. Maybe you wanna have a chalkboard element. So you can just kind of go down and see, okay, what design seems to appeal to you, right? And so let's say you wanna go ahead and do an arc, oh, the arcade quiz has a star here. So now we're getting into ones that you have to have the pro account for. If it doesn't have a star, it, then it is uh, available for the free version. So let's do the animated sketch quiz. So you click on here and it will show you a preview of those slides in this particular template. So that's what the first page looks like. And you can say, okay, well here we have select a palette. Maybe you wanna change it to this palette or this one or that one. So which one works best for you? And if you click the arrow there, that's gonna be the next slide that you see. Okay, and then if I say right here, 
okay, it's gonna go to this slide. Yes, this seems like a really good interactive quiz. I'm gonna go ahead and use this template. Now here's a page where you actually do the editing of your presentation or your game or whatever the case may be. So you see all the slides here on the left, like you usually would in Google Slides or you know PowerPoint. And you can say, okay, you know, now I'm gonna start entering into it and changing up obviously the text to match what quiz I am creating. And you can also do, okay, well, here you have the first question of five. I'm gonna go down here and you can see when it's a wrong answer, it takes you to this slide. If it's right, it takes you to this one. And if you need to, okay, well, I want more than just these number of questions, you can go ahead and you can duplicate a slide if you want to. Um, and then you just keep duplicating over and over again and making sure that again, when it's the right answer, it goes to congratulations. When it's the wrong answer, it goes to wrong answer. So you wanna kind of go through and see what kind of activities do you wanna create, okay? So this is one option here, which is creating a quiz. So notice that you have pages here, but you can also do more things. If you wanna change the background, uh, rather than having this blue, you can do that. You can insert images and such as well. You can create smart blocks, like I said, that graph that I had in that first example. You can do interactive elements, so create buttons and such, social media, etc. Resources, so here again is where you get those graphs if you want to, but other types as well. Tons of illustrations are available. And then full on photos too, and then adding text. So this video isn't a tutorial, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's just showing you types of things you can create with Genially. But if you do want a tutorial, let me know. I can create one of those as well. But it's really user friendly. You just kind of click in and say, you know, okay, look at these four different tools, a lock, right, moving around. These two are the big ones. What interactivity do you want to use? What animation do you want to use? So the animation makes it move, makes it, you know, fade away, that kind of thing. The interactivity is what makes this such a great tool because you can go ahead and decide, okay. You know, when they click this, they go to a certain page. What page is that? You know, or maybe when they click this, a window opens up and here's what they're gonna see in the window. Or when they hover over this, they're gonna see this information, right? Or when they click this, it goes to a link outside of this program. So the interactivity tool is the main one here. It's the one with a little finger clicking. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and go back and see other things you can create. So again, a quiz is a really great one here to make it interactive and more visual and more fun than what you would usually potentially use. But now let's go here to presentations. So maybe you're someone who just wants, okay, I want more appealing presentations than what I create with my PowerPoint or Google Slides or whatever the case may be. So again, you can kind of go through here and see what kind do you want to do. And again, you want to ignore the ones with the star unless you have the pro version. Uh, but maybe we're going down here and you like this watercolor. So go ahead and click in and you can go ahead and peruse what it looks like by using the arrows. Okay, so this appeals to you, you say yes, let's go ahead and use this template. And again, it'll take you to where you can go ahead and in this case, you can decide, do you want all the slides that are in this template or just a certain number of them, right? So you can do select all and get them all. You might say, you know what? I just wanted the first one. I do want the index because that's gonna be helpful. I want the one that's section one, but I only have one section. So I wanna make sure that I have these and that's all I want. Go ahead and add those seven in particular. Something I recommend when using these templates is go ahead on top here and preview the slides so you know like where's their animation, where's the interactivity already set. So in this case, all right, we're on the first page here, you go to the next one, okay? And here it'll say, okay, you click this and now you know, all right, all of these have interaction with them. If I go here, okay, none. Go here, none. Go here, oh, there's more here too. All these are interactivity. So when you're editing it, you make sure that you get rid of the interactivity that you don't want and you add in your information where you do wanna keep that interaction. Also notice on the bottom here is my logo and this is because I have the pro version. If you do not, then the Genially logo will go there instead. 
So you want to make sure when you're designing your slides or your games or whatever, that you leave the space empty because the logo will appear there. And I believe you can choose if it's at the bottom or at the top, depending on your preference. But just keep in mind, there is a logo. And so you want to make sure you don't design that portion of the slide. Something you probably use often as an educator nowadays is a video presentation. So I recommend looking at those templates as well and seeing which one might appeal to you. Again, if you go through, find one that the color scheme seems to match what interests you. And so maybe this one. Click on it. Okay, looks great. You use this template. Okay, and which ones do you want here? Do you want all the slides or not? In this case, just select all. And we're going to go ahead and add it to our project. And so now you edit all of these again, and your video is matching what you're teaching rather than what's on here. Another interesting one I want to point out is the interactive image. So if you go in here, you can actually use these images that are already created. So for example, if you're teaching a dance class, here's Dancer in Motion. And so what it does is it actually has, you know, when you click on here, you see information that pops up. Here's something that you can play. Okay. And then you go down here and there's music. You go over here and you see information as well. So making an image that's interactive, you can use these ones here, you can share them, right? You don't edit them, you share them. Or you can create your own. And it does have a tutorial on how to do that, but you basically just add in your image and then you add different points of interaction on top of it. So something really interesting if you teach, especially like a science or something, where you might wanna have the bones in the body or the elements of an atom or a cell or whatever the case may be. In a similar vein, there's also the infographics. So if you're someone who wants to just use the ones that are here, for example, the periodic table, um, and you might just change up certain elements of it, not the actual elements, but the colors, for example, or where the key is, or the case may be. But this can be really great for different types of classes. So it has different topics here, as you can see, science, sports, physics, and so on. So you might have, okay, you know, here's a timeline, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and go in here and decide on my palette to get a color scheme that you prefer. So here's one, but maybe you want this one or that one. So let's go ahead and use this one here. Use a template. And again, you just change the different text into what matches your topic. And what's really great here is with all these dots, you can go ahead and make them again interactive and you can have either words pop up when they hover or you might have hey here's a whole lesson from that date you might have okay um here's a link to a website for more information etc you know it's already really customized for you the all you need to do is put in the specific information for each dot you don't have to start and create a timeline from scratch not so much for teaching but just for your own professional development i do recommend looking at the more one as well because in this case, like this is where I found that CV style that I used for my website. So if you're someone who's looking to create a portfolio or a CV or whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and look through here and see which one appeals to you. And on the left here, you also see those same categories. So if you want to move between them here instead, that's obviously possible. I haven't done the guide one yet, so we can go in here quickly. And so really, there is just so much on this particular website. And again, the big thing is that you can really make some fascinating interactive activities, presentations for your students that can really grab their attention because of how it is functioning. So again, if you want a tutorial, let me know. This is just more of an overview of what you can find inside. There is the free option, which is fantastic. You can also go to the pro account. It is pretty inexpensive. So let's go ahead and if we go, so you can see here if you're a company, or if you're in education. So we'll go to education here. You can do free and you have a lot, right? Unlimited creations, right? Unlimited views, free templates and resources, but it's also pretty inexpensive um, if you do it by month or by year. 
If you have any questions, let me know and like this video if you found it helpful.